everyone. Um, Neil has asked how to use the AutoCAD camera command to create a cross-section view of his uh, project site. So I'm going to run through how to do that and that will be using front and back plane clipping in order to uh, obtain the view that we're looking for. So the first thing I'll do is use the AutoCAD camera command to place a camera and I will type in the word camera and ask for a camera location. So like anything with AutoCAD, I will snap this into place. I'm going to use a nearest object snap to snap to a contour here. And then it asked me for the target location. Um, it wasn't clear from Neil whether he wants the target location at exactly the same elevation as the camera location. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to just place my target up here to the north and then I'll exit and then what I can do is I can pick my camera and go to properties look at my camera elevation 4348 and set my target elevation to match. Okay. okay so now I've placed that and you'll see over here in the preview window I have a preview of that view. What I will also do then is I want to turn on my clipping and I'll say front and back plane clipping is on. Uh, so if I was to set for example the front plane clipping to uh, 500 and you can see this line that shows up here to show where that clipping point is and then I'll set my back plane clipping to uh, say 200. So you'll see now I have these two planes. So what I would view is going to be within those planes. So if I move my front plane, say, to 200, you can see those adjust. Okay, so let's move that down in here. We can move our back plane down and you can see the view update as we move these front and back planes. So as I slide that down, I'll see more or less cross-section from my project. So if I wanted something like this, put my back plane in place. Okay, so I have my front plane at 955, and that's how many feet from the target location and then the back plane, how many feet from the target location. So if I was to move my back plane to say 200, that would show, as you see how the grip moved up, that shows more of the terrain. And if I less at, make that a larger number, I'll see less of my terrain. Okay. So in this case, with a front plane at 650, and a back plane at 600, I'm looking above this ditch or this low point in the project, so I don't see anything there. So let's move that up, uh, say, to 850. So now I'll see more. So once I've adjusted that, I, if I like what I have, then what I can do, let's escape there, is I, if I use the AutoCAD view command, you'll see that it has automatically created a model view called Camera 1. And that's named after that camera. So if I set that current, then I see that view on the screen. Now let's change that, say, to conceptual. Okay. So I, I, I would see that view here on the screen with the clipping as I have it set. So here I have adjusted my front and back clipping planes. You can see my front clipping plane here, my back clipping plane here. So this is all I'm going to see in my section view. So if I needed to plot that, what I could do then is move to my layout. Okay. 
make sure I'm in model space within that viewport, and then use the AutoCAD view command to set that camera current. I renamed the camera and called it view from highway. And I'll set current there. I'll say OK. Oop, sorry, we're in a locked viewport. Let's change that. Display locked. We will set to no. OK. Back in here, use the view command. Pick the camera called view from highway. Set current. And let's set that to realistic. And there I have my view.